favorite couple back again, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And today's topic we're going to talk about is who sleeps in the wet spot. Now, we all know whenever we be fucking or making love, if you want to call it that. But my question is, who picks who sleeps in the wet spot? The person that makes the mess sleeps in the wet spot. Bullshit. It's because that is Bullshit. your pussy. So that means you sleep in the mess. But if I'm sleep and you wake me up out my sleep to get some pussy, you sleep in the wet spot. Me, I think whoever initiates sex should sleep in the wet spot. That's not true. Why not? Because then nobody tell you to make that mess. So you the one who made me make the mess. If you had left me sleep, then it wouldn't be no mess. You knew the best you was taking when you want me about my sleep for some pussy. Always blame the guy. Yup. That's sad. Yup. I think women should take responsibility for their own um, messes. Bullshit. Even though I put in on the mess, that's still your responsibility to fix. Now, some of y'all might say easy solve to this is just lay a towel down. But for my ladies that are squirters, y'all already know, a lot of times, that towel just ain't gonna cut it. Yeah, because when it's hot, you know, it gets kind of, it's not a comfortable space to lay in when it's hot. Mm -hmm. And it's not a comfortable space to lay in when it's cold either. No, because when it's winter time, that shit get cold and wet. And, and I'm not trying to roll over in my sleep like on that shit. When it's summertime, it just feels like you just laying in a bunch of sweat. Yeah. And it gets real hot and stinky. And I guess that's why people fight over the wet spot. And if it just seems like one towel is just not enough. Like I said, if you the one who whoever initiates sex, if you want to sex that bad, you already know something's gonna get wet up or somebody gonna nut on the sheet or some shit like that. Or, you know, you get your little booty sweat. Everybody know about booty sweat, you know. I'm not sleeping in that shit. I refuse. I think you should go get some saran wrap or some plastic or something and just put some plastic down, you know. That sounds like you house trying a puppy. That if shit ain't you know going to make a mess, just fucking go put some plastic down because I think plastic holds up better and then you can take the plastic and just take the plastic off when you get done. Because, I mean, laying in... You the, might as well be fucking on a shower curtain. But you can get one of those shower curtain covers. That will work, too. Just lay it out on the bed before you... Or you could just sleep in the wet spot. Nobody wants to... Basically, nobody wants to sleep in the wet spot. But my thing is, if you initiate sex, that means you willing to take on the consequences. No, that just means... The repercussions. No, I mean, if I wet up the bed, you won't sleep in it because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have wet up the bed. The repercussions belong to the person that uh, the mess belongs to. That's just like it's part if, of your I have, if I have drugs in your car, you're going to get in trouble, right? Yeah. Okay, so you should be responsible for the mess, not me. Oh, the bullshit. Ain't nobody told you to get in my car with the dope. Fuck that. No, hell no. I'm not sleeping in the wet side. That's why I be slick scooting over on your side when we been getting ready to fuck. That way I wet up your side and I can sleep on my dry side. No, because that's not how it works. It's I'm the correct. person who, I mean, who makes... You right, you right. You almost said it. You right. The <laughs> person who initiates sex is the one who... I did not mean to say side. initiate. I meant to mm -hmm. say initiate the mess. If it wasn't for you, it wouldn't be no mess. Then, no, hey, it's not my fault. The shit good. I mean, all you have to do is just hold yourself. Nah. And then if I tell you to wet up the bed, shit. I'm not about to hold it in my shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you know you're going to wet it up, just go excuse yourself to the bathroom. Um. Anyway, what you think? Who should sleep in the wet spot? The person who causes the mess or the person who initiates the mess? Let us know. Subscribe and comment below. Thanks. Peace. Peace.